Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Koviak. Today, we're going to answer the question, how good do you have to be to be a traditional bow hunter? What should you be striving for? Um, where do you got to get to? Is there a certain level? Is there a certain something that you have to be at? And we want to talk about that a little bit here because it's something that a lot of people actually think about and can't understand or fathom. And it's a real simple concept. Now, usually when I shoot at these targets, because of the fact that the way that hog target is made, I have to shoot for behind the shoulder and be right uh, kind of hug in there you know kind of thing like we would on a deer here i just showed you three shots at my max distance of shooting range is 20 yards the max i would hunt at and we just put three of them exactly up the front leg now the problem is there's a metal pole in there and you can see it kind of cattywampus them but uh let's just zoom you here from right here for a second and take a peek so we're going to turn this and let you see got to zoom in with the alt as far in as we can go but you can see all three of those shots are perfect, but those two that are kind of kicked sideways, that's because they are right through the heart of that hog, but it's also where that metal thing goes. So I shot them, real world is hunting. Now actually, like I said, when I practice on this target, I have to stay a little further back than that, even though it's where I want to shoot at on an actual live hog. So you gotta kind of take some of that stuff into uh, consideration when you're doing your practicing, but this distance we are at right here, this is what I consider my maximum shooting distance that I want to be at is right here. This is my, um, you know, 20 yards from here to there, my max distance. Why is that my max distance? Um, can I shoot good farther too? Yes, I can. It doesn't matter. This is where uh, the absolute furthest I want to be is because of where everything comes into play. All of the failures, all of the variables of animals movement, all the stuff that happens with that kind of thing, it all kind of comes into play here and uh, it, it makes a difference. So, this is my max distance. Now, what we wanna do is talk about your max distance. When can you go hunting? Let's carry the camera and show you here. So if this here to that target is, actually this camera is about 22 yards, but let's just take it from here and walk you up and show you and give you a realistic aspect here. I wanna show you where all of my friends and people I know, okay, right here, what we are seeing here, are you still seeing? Yes. This distance is the average, according to all of the people that I hunt with, that their animals are killed at. Right here, where we are right here, okay? Let me now go up and grab those arrows and we'll talk about it for a second, so stick around. Dude, I mean no three perfect, right there, right in the hard shot from 20 yards. But at that metal pole in there, I have to kind of usually avoid that a touch. But those were three perfect hunting type scenario shots there. Now, when we come here, where we're at right here, this is a distance of where most of me and my friends, this is where most of uh, the people in my community that are traditional bow hunters, this is where we kill animals at. Where we are right now is about 12 yards. Okay, we're about 12 yards from that target. Watch how quick this arrow gets there. Okay, watch this, ready? Okay, gets there quick, nothing to it, okay? Now, was that shot in the right place? No, it was not. Let's try to put one exactly in the right place. Let's try to put one exactly in the middle of that, uh, that bag target, right in the center zero. Okay, not bad, all right? Let's try and put one in and uh, make a kill shot on that deer, uh, you, know, right in, uh, you know, right in the sweet spot there. Okay, a little bit back actually. Okay, point being here that you can see that there's variables that come into play that it doesn't matter what distance you are, you can still shank things. Things can go wrong, cannot be exact. You would think at this distance being half of what that is, that my shots would have been much more precision perfect than they were back there. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't matter. We're talking about, you know, a bow where you have no sights, where it's all mental in your head and you have to focus and lock. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is, even though those shots were not quite as controlled and I did them a little quicker and I didn't really, you know, I didn't put as much effort into them as I did back there, they're still in the vitals, okay? They're still killing it. Now, if I go down and get those and I put the same kind of focus in that I would back there, let's see the difference, hold on.
there is a method to this and a reason that we are talking about this. I'm going to show you, okay? So, let's do it now, more controlled, and let's do it right and see if we can make a difference. Okay, that one's pretty perfect right there. Exactly where we want it, how we call it. Now, on a, again, on that pig target, that's where I have to shoot because of the way the pole is in there. I'd rather be where I showed you earlier with those other three that were perfect low and right in there. There's a metal rod in that pole I cannot shoot there where I should be shooting on that hog. Horrible design, honestly, of that target on a hog for where you should shoot. But I understand that they got to maximize the target. But point being, from there, we showed you real world hog hunting. Now let's go to that deer. Shanked it. Look at that. Shanked it. Totally shanked it. Okay. Now let's go to that target. And we drilled it. Okay. Now I shanked that one on purpose. I actually even threw it up there. But we need to prove a point here to um, being that you're going to vary. Okay. You're going to vary. But even here where I shanked that as hard as I did. If you look at that arrow, we're still in those vitals. Okay, why? We have this failure factor. We have this safety net of this distance that is helping us. Okay, I know it kind of looks high from the way the angle is on there, but it's kicked up because my target's so chewed up. Let me zoom you here for one second just to show you. Put it into perspective. But that target, or that arrow, is actually in that deer target in the vitals, as you can see. So it's there. It's just kicked up out of there where it went. But the point we're trying to make here is that... The closer you hunt, the better you're going to be. So if you're trying to figure out how good you need to be, we established three things here. One, that this distance right here, this 12 or 13 yards, is where most traditional bow hunters that I know, and I know a lot of them, this is where most of our animals are killed at, okay? The average, this is where most of them are killed, is right here. Not way back there at 20 yards. They're done right here. That's my max distance because I know what I'm capable of and because I know how far I can shoot. And even people even put their max distances much further than that. But for me, with the variables, 20 yards is mine. This 12 or 13 yard range is fantastic. Okay, this is where most animals are killed. If you can consistently put the, tar or the arrows in the targets at this distance, then this is a good spot for you. Now, let's go one further because here's where it really all starts to tie in and make sense for you. Okay, so about right here, not where the camera is, but where I'm standing at, right here, this right here is about eight, nine yards. Okay, this is eight or nine yards. Believe it or not, this is where a huge majority of deer are killed. Okay, when we are set up as traditional bow hunters, these are the setups we're setting up for. 12 is average kind of thing, 15 we want kind of thing, but never 20. But this right here, there are a tremendous amount of deer. I would venture to say in a traditional bow hunting world, I would venture to say that 30% minimum, minimum 30% of deer are killed right here or even closer. Okay, so what is this? Well, let's look at it here. Let's see. All right, so we come into here. What do we get? Let's shank these shots. Okay, we are gonna mess up on them. Ready, here we go. So we're gonna come into this one on that hog. We're gonna be here and I'm gonna do all this weird kind of, oh, it still went there. Okay, it still killed that pig perfectly. Okay, what about that deer? You know, what, what, about, what about on that deer? Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm nervous coming all over and still kills that deer. Even short drawn by like 10 inches, it killed that deer. What about that bag target? We come into that bag target. Let's just do this here. Come in, look at it, and let's not even look and shoot. And what do we do? We're not that far off. Point being, when you get in here close like this, you have much better odds. So, if you're only good at practicing at 12 or 15 yards, and you're still able to put them in the vitals of these animals and do that kind of stuff, this zone is a perfectly good place to set up and hunt. Don't be afraid of it. There is no reason to not go out and hunt with your traditional bow because you can't shoot good at 20 yards. Very few people can shoot good at 20 yards. Sorry, I'm sweating still. It's, it's like 88 degrees, but the hurricane's coming. Literally, it's been raining all day. The humidity levels are astronomical high. I am sweating like crazy out here. Um, but the point I'm trying to make here is that 
you don't need to be good back there to be able to go in the woods. Most of the action with a traditional bow is right here. You will let, gain more knowledge and become such a better hunter by taking that first year as you are a traditional bow hunter and rather than saying well i'm not going to hunt this year because i'm not good enough at distance you'd be much better off saying well i am going to hunt this year and i'm going to keep all my stuff a heck of a lot closer and get me right in there where i need to be okay i don't know why we have a siren going again tornadoes or uh hurricane stuff going we just had a major storm roll through there could even be stuff down somewhere um so i might hear a little bit of that but the goal is to get here. The goal is to be close. The goal is to do your work up here. This is where we set up to hunt from. And as you just saw with all that, my odds of screwing up here are much lower. Now I can screw up here. I have messed this shot up many, many times. Don't be fooled. Hey, don't, don't think for a second, I'm kidding. Hang on, we're gonna let that go by. I'm pausing this for a minute. Actually, I'm just gonna cut it out, but. We're gonna let the sirens pass. All right, sirens are gone. Sorry about that. But this is our whole world as traditional bow hunters. I don't care what anybody tells you. I don't care how good they can shoot. I don't care what they think you need to do. I don't care where they think you need to be. This is the whole world. This is easy for even three-year-olds to make, okay? Uh, this is not complicated stuff to be in this range, as you just saw, even under screwing up everything. If you can shoot here, hunt here, okay? Don't think for a second that it's a bad idea to set up in a tree for a eight or nine yard shot and even if you have to take one at 12 because you're good at 12 but to set up for this this is where most of us set up i promise you you talk to robert carter you talk to chris spikes you talk to john tucker from tactic saddle you talk to you know um you know warren womack you talk to any of these guys that do this stuff and they kill a lot of animals this is the range they want to be in now with time and experience you may say well i'll extend my shooting out to 18 20 yards some 22 23 and that's fine but this is our world, is this 12 and under where we want to be. So don't be afraid to come out here and hunt at 12 yards. Don't be afraid to come out here and set up at a tree right here. I have a tree right here, right there. Don't think for a second that I wouldn't set up in that tree to be able to take shots at this. I do it way more than I do anything else. I promise you that my number one setup is to be in a tree right here with my shots right there. That is my goal. If I have this tree that will give me that shot, I will take it every day rather than one at five yards further. I wanna be right here at this eight, 10, nine, 12, 11 yard shot range. And the majority of the animals we kill are in this range. So if you're good at this range, Go set up. A lot of you think that, well, if I can only shoot, if I set up at eight yards and I give myself a 10 yard limit, um, I'm never gonna kill anything. They're all gonna walk by me too far. Very wrong. And if you set up for an eight yard shot and you kill them at 10, great. And if you let them walk at 12 or 15, you are gaining more experience and knowledge because I'll tell you what, the hardest thing you can do as a bow hunter is learn to get eight or 10 yards away from animals in your setups. It's real easy to be 25 yards away Okay, if you got a 50 yard wide funnel set up in the middle of it, and either way they're gonna be within 25 yards, woohoo, it's not hard to do, okay? But to pick the place where you're gonna set up within eight or 10 yards of where the shot's gonna be, that's challenge, and that's power, and that's education, and that's value, and that's woodsmanship, and that's so many great things, and this bow will force you to do it, but do not think for a second, if you are new to traditional bow hunting, that you need to be able to shoot accurate from way out there, somewhere back there. Get this place zone dialed in and get it accurate and boom, boom, boom. Shoot a couple hundred arrows here so you know you're spot on right here. And then put on your camel, climb up a tree, and kill some deer close. I promise you, you'll be much happier that you did. Thanks for watching.